I'm gonna try to face the correct camera of all those things. Oh, it's peppery. It's right. MSRP 13, uh, 1130. 1130, okay? But it was sold for $17,899. I feel like my light got dimmer because I have a big ass giant mics over there taking up the light. And raspberry. Peppery and raspberry. Flaming Dragon! He took a raspberry from a mash of tobacco dirt that used to grow pepper. I don't see what's good about this. <laughs> right now, $7 a go. $7. I don't get this. No good deeds? Why do you want to tell people to do no good deeds? $8 a go. Tastes like a budget cigar. I'm dropping it down to seven dollar. This is seven dollar cigar for me. I did not. Okay, let's go. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. Why are we going through this very busy time? Because we're setting up podcasts. It's like, you know, I got microphone there, I got microphone there, I got camera right there, I'm a camera. I don't know how many cameras I have, I don't know how many microphones I have. So I'm gonna try to face the correct camera of all of these things. Anyways, today we're doing the Room 101 13th anniversary Toro. There we go. You can't see that, so let's take the wrapper off. I mean, not wrapper, cello. Oh, it's peppery. All right, here we go. 13th anniversary from Room 101. Now, here's the thing. This cigar is MSRP 13, uh, 1130. 1130, okay? But it was sold for 17899 so now I'm gonna judge this cigar based on the price I was purchased, $17.99. Okay, but it is eleven thirty MSRP. I don't know what happened. Okay, it's in the box of twenty, so a box will happen two hundred twenty-six dollars. Release day was August twenty twenty-two, and they have, they have what fifteen hundred bucks, so thirty dollars cigars made. Uh, this is supposed to be a Nicaraguan puro. It's all Nicaraguan wrapper, binder, filler. So, I don't know. Anyways, 6x52. Very oily wrapper. I feel like my light got dimmer because I have a big ass giant mics over there taking up the light. But good enough, whatever. Good enough. Good enough, yeah. Reflect some more lights here. There we go. Reflect some light. It's oily. It's oily. Let me just adjust this a little bit. There we go. The light. Let there be light. Jeez. Maybe I'll put another light over there. I don't know. Too many things. Too many things in this room already. I, I can't put any more stuff in here. So. Kind of light. But it's peppery. Just from smelling it. And raspberry. Peppery and raspberry. Alright, let's cut. Mmm. Draw is a little bit towards the Oh my god, pepper. Draw is a little bit towards the tight side. Not not the way I like. So but we're still light it up, smoke it. My basement's hot today. My basement's hot today. My basement is hot today. <laughs> oh, 
and I draw this left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. Flaming Dragon! Alright, here goes. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of... Raspberry that got soaked in a smudge of tobacco. Leather. Oh, it's kind of muddy. I don't know. It's like it's. It feels like it took a raspberry from the dirt and ate it. Didn't wash it. He took a raspberry. From a mash of tobacco dirt that used to grow pepper. And then it gets really bitter at the end. Really bitter. And woodsy. That's what I get right now from the first few pop. So, let me go finish the first stir. I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know how to describe this. It's kind of berry with like a jello taste, like an Asian argar taste. Yeah, berry, Asian argar. A little bit pepper ish taste and it's I don't see what's good about this. <laughs> it makes my room smells really bad. It's got this, I don't know, would you call that like a berry floor or something like that? It has this American root beer taste i don't know if people can tell this like when you buy like this two kind of root beer like a regular root beer and uh, that's like those silver can root beer and the silver can root beer tastes significantly different than the average root beer it's like that kind of root beer kind of flavor and like argar and then like gelatin and then like berry that's all i got out of this like i and it's not It's not a really, really good flavor. I don't know. Anyways, I, I, I give it a lot of chance. I smoked a little bit more than one third already. And tried to give it like a, oh, maybe it'll change. It did not. It, it was not. No. So let me smoke through to the, the second third. And then remove the band. And then we can kind of get, get back to this. Because I like I don't know. I don't know what's the hype of this thing. It's... Right now, $7 a cigar. $7. All right. Last uh, you know, other people might like this cigar, but it's just not for me. It's not, it doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's kind of light. Um, strength, mild to medium, if anything. Ben, pretty cool Ben. I mean, I do like the way Room 101, like the side, the color of the bands and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. So 13th anniversary, 2009 to 2022. Ignore my finger as I just touched. If you saw the first part of my thing, I got like some ink on me. Now my, my fingers full of ink, so I had to wash them off. But I don't get this. No good deeds. Why do you want to tell people to do no good deeds? Should be full of good deeds. I don't know. But yeah, that's the band. Pretty cool. Thick paper, but nothing special about it. Yeah. Uh, 
a dollar cigar. Tastes like a budget cigar. Uh, yeah, it gets a little bit floral. It has a little bit of berry slash cherry. There's a little bit of creaminess, and there's might be some chocolate somewhere, and pepper, earthy, and a little bit of cedar. And that's pretty much it. It's not a lot going on. And it's a... Everybody can smoke cigar, but not everybody will like cigar. I don't know. I am not impressed by the cigar. Unfortunately. But keep in mind, I smoked a lot of different cigars. Uh, and I have experienced different range of um, flavor. So in that huge range of flavor... This is very light, but for someone that has smoked you know, Habano and Connecticut, then that this might be your range of, hey, this tastes pretty good. But someone that has smoked a lot of different cigars, like if you consider yourself a very seasoned smoker, this might be too light. This might might not be your thing. And I think majority of cigar smokers like those dark, smoky, cocoa, espresso, damp wood, uh, and, and strong flavors, right? Cedar, woodsy. This is just lacking. All right. So, if you like floral cigars, this is for you. If you don't like floral cigars, you're not gonna like it. So, uh, Laster, let's see if it improves the last little bit. Right now, it's eight dollar to me. Hopefully, it's gonna improve just a tad. We'll see. Be right back. All right, really quickly, I give maximum amount of chance for this thing to work, and it did not. It, it tastes like chewing on flour. It's yeah, it's very floral. Some berry, creamy. Yeah, it's like chewing on flour. You just go out there, go to your local flower shop, grab it, and just chew the flour. That's how it tastes like. It's just floral, very floral. I, I did not like it. So, yeah, um, I'm dropping it down to seven dollar. This is a $7 cigar for me. I did not like it. When I take it, uh, I was chatting with um, the, in the Legion. I'm making so much faces, they were laughing at it because this is so bad. It's so bad for me. I don't like it. You might like it. I won't like it. $7 cigar, don't recommend it. Do not go get it if you have the same profile as me, I guess. If you like a Connecticut cigar and you enjoy it, different story, right? Okay, so that's it for the cigar review. $7, don't recommend it. If you like my review, like, subscribe, and comment. Yeah, like that flavor just make my brain just blank. And it does make my room smell horrible. I don't know. Some people just gotta shoot fire at me because of that. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.